question, Swami. But with all respect, Swami, if you leave alone Arnav. a third question, if you were to ask a second question, then you might be told that it's not a, it's not a news conference, but it's an inquisition. I, I can say that from personal experience. Arti, Arti, what would your top question be to the Prime yes, Minister? Yes, Arnav, but can, I, but can I lay a bet with you? Yes, please do. That that one of the first questions that would be put to the Prime Minister will be, when is the next cabinet reshuffle? I mean, how does it matter? I think that's at the top of every journalist's mind today. Well, I, I, how does it matter? He's not going to say anything to that. What would, what would be the top question you'd ask, Nalini Singh? I know. But that doesn't stop us from asking the question. I hope it's anyway. not asked because the most predictable reply will come to that oh, no. very predictable question. Okay, we seem to be enjoying this. Uh, uh, Absolutely. Okay, uh, Nalini Singh, I'm oh, coming no. to you. Question. Uh, Nalini Singh, your question. I don't know if the Prime Minister is watching news out tonight. If he's watching news out tonight, if his media advisor is watching, they should really take notes. They won't get a better panel than this. Nalini Singh. Well, for the media advisor, I'm taking those two questions. For the media advi advisor, don't you think it's a colossal waste of time to be fielding your group of ministers in Shastri Bhavan five times a week? <laughs> I'm worried, uh, Arnab. I'll be very worried when the Prime Minister also starts addressing the media. It won't be one hour. It'll be more than that. You know, I mean, aren't they supposed to be doing other things like policy making? Have you underfunded the budget, etc.? Is your uh, fiscal deficit going to cross 5.2? Uh, and, you know, all. I mean, I'm worried that our ministers are standing there in an inquisition two hours uh, per afternoon and for the Prime Minister I would say elections in 2012 13 question mark okay uh, Paranjoy Mr. Mr. Prime Minister do you think your finance minister's office was bugged <laughs> and if yes who That's did it <laughs> straight question uh, Swami smiling what would the Prime Minister say to that Swami I'm not in his shoes. I think the Prime Minister would say, I didn't do it. Mr. Vinod Mehta, <laughs> Mr. Vinod Mehta, your top question for the Prime Minister. <coughs> See, my, I, now all the most interesting questions have been asked, but I would simply ask him, Prime Minister, you don't, you have some kind of inferiority complex or lack of confidence when it comes to talking to the media. Actually, you don't come out too badly because you have a very disarming and self-effacing personality. You come out actually quite well and the media is on your side. So don't think the media is hostile to you, that the media is out to get you. They actually like you and therefore if you interact with them, it will only be for your own good. And whatever your weaknesses are in the areas of auditory, in the areas of rhetoric, etc., they are not important. Your, 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 your honesty and your openness is your biggest strength and please talk to the media more often. No, I think that's very, that's very good. I think I, 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 you know, the valid point you made there. Do you think this is going to happen every week? Do you think, Arti, it will happen every week? We told every week. That means, that means between now and the UP election, there will be 50 news conferences of the Prime Minister. Uh, you know, Arnab, I think I, I'd be very surprised if, it, if, it, if it's every week and, you know, as you said, 50 news conferences from now till the UP elections. But uh, hopefully it will be more often and hopefully after the print gets the first bite tomorrow, TV will get the second bite next week. Well, I don't care who gets the bite. <laughs> that let, help let, you get your video consent. Let, let the print journalists get the bite, but let's just sneak in a video camera at least so tomorrow we don't have a graphic plate uh, in, instead, of, <laughs> instead of the Prime Minister himself doing the talking. Okay. Uh, Paranjoy, do you think the Congress party told the Prime Minister to do this? Because I think the PMO was at pains to try and make the point that this has not been, you know, this is, this is a sort of a decision of the Prime Minister's office itself. Do you think the CWC told the Prime Minister clearly, go ahead, face the media yourself? You know, I'm not privy to what exactly happened at the CWC meeting, but I surely won't be surprised if there's been a section within the Congress party which is of the view that the Prime Minister needs to be, you know, interacting with the press, with journalists more frequently than he has done so far. Now, whether you can construe this as pressure from the Congress or whether he's been directed by A, B or C or Tenjanpat 
very honestly i don't know but but i i think uh, i mean there has certainly been uh, a view within the congress that the the prime minister should be you know talking more frequently and explaining you know all that's been happening in his government i mean whether it be the uh, lokpal issue or where, why the, the the top ministers of the government went to uh, yes. meet baba ramdev all these questions i think at the end of the day uh, somebody has to answer and who else uh, can give an answer okay now, now here, here, here's one point vinod mehta just coming to you with no. the last point but uh, but nalini right. singh last time Pri prime minister said uh, when he was asked that there's a coalition compulsion of coalition dharma that that answer won't hold in the context of dyanidhi maran and the weakened position of the dmk anymore will it No, not at all. I don't think that uh, the Prime Minister will have this luxury. Actually, that was the only political comment that he had made the last time. So, I, I'm looking, I mean, if one has to look forward to this uh, interaction, uh, then I'm looking forward to the political points he makes besides the reshuffle. But, you know, you know, uh, just turning the page a bit, I just wonder why anybody is advising the Prime Minister to meet the press every week. Yeah. Uh, may I ask now as a citizen of the country, as a tax paying citizen, what is Dur Darshan doing? It's got 30 plus channels. It's got a DTH platform. You've got All India Radio, DAVP, uh, Song and Dance Division, I mean whatever. So, you know, many of these, why doesn't Dur Darshan conduct uh, sting operations and use the RTI to actually what are you? You've got uh, two channels, uh, Arnab, isn't it? And I believe that you are a feared, uh, you are, uh, at least one of your channels is a feared channel. Now, if I've got 30 plus, I think I can just give it back to you. Well, I, so, why are we fielding I, the Prime Minister against investigative reporters is what I'm asking. Well, and why are the resources of the, the government's own communication all, channels being wasted? All that the Prime Minister should definitely come out in times of I, crisis. I have in, in times of, you know, when he's got to answer these questions, every week? Every week is an overkill. In fact, some a viewer just messaged me, Vinod Mehta, that every week is an overkill. You're going from one extreme to another. And it won't happen, Arnab. I mean, uh, it won't happen. But you see, the last experience that the Prime Minister had when he was talking to editors and I was there, hmm. this is my, my feeling was that he actually came out of it quite well. I think if you take all the pluses and minuses, I think the Prime Minister came out of it quite well and he had spoken to the nation through the journalists. So therefore, I, I think that whoever is advising the Prime Minister, that even if he's asked tough questions, even if he's asked questions like coalition compulsions and what are those, and if he gives an answer, at the end of the day, that may be better than not giving an answer Absolutely. and becoming invisible. Absolutely. You'd know so where we I stand. Think, uh, we know where we stand. So I think this reluctance to face the media, invisibility is worse than talking to the media and saying, listen, this is my problem. This is the reason why I'm doing this. Please appreciate this. Okay. I think that's the better thing. Clarity. And I think this country is mature, mature enough to understand what that is. This country needs clarity. Will clarity come tomorrow? Will a video camera sneak its Adam. way? Into yes, Swami. Yes, Swami. I must give you the last word. You come. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I'd like to make one point. I do not think that Manmohan Singh's relatively laid back, relatively invisible position all these years is an accident or that it is his own inclination. The plain fact is, I mean, if you talk to Sanjay Baru, who went as the, 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 the Prime Minister's information chief, he said he thought his job was to promote the, the Prime Minister and then suddenly discovered the whole party was against it. Uh -huh. The Congress party does not want the Prime Minister promoted. It wants to make quite clear that 10 Janpath is the centre of power. That has been the reason why till now, I think Manmohan has been in the background. If he is now being asked to go out, I think it's finally because Ten Janpath has realized that there is a very serious problem with its own approach and it needs to try something and Manmohan may carry somewhat more credibility on the corruption and governance issue than Ten Janpath itself can. Mm. So I don't think that, you know, it's Manmohan Singh's decision to do it or not do it. I think very, very much it's a Ten Janpath decision whether to do it or not. Well, it's Let like me further add. Yeah. The fact that Manmohan Singh talks, frankly, solves very little. Mm. This is only process. At the end of it all, you need a government which says, this is what I believe in. This is what I am going to do. 
I will not do this, but I will take up that job. The real problem is if we have a government right now which seems to utterly lack conviction, which seems to lack direction, which seems to be entirely on the defensive because all kinds of cans of worms are coming out and it doesn't have a positive way of going forward, no real message. As long as there is this lack of a government conviction of what it wants to do, merely having meetings every week or every fortnight with the press is not going to solve the fundamental problem the Congress faces. Well, I have only one thing to say, uh, gentlemen, I have no complaints, Times now has no complaints, a news conference a week would be most welcome, maybe it will bring more clarity. We just hope some video camera develops legs and walks into the news conference and records it for us and we have that tape tomorrow. Order That's a single condition. point agenda we have, yes, single point agenda that we have here. Let's hope a TV camera comes in. Gentlemen, till that news conference happens and till the Prime Minister's tape is with us, for now only and only for now, good night and goodbye and it's wonderful seeing you on the news. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.